All right, it's another big weekend at the box office ahead. Here is W and W movie critic James Bolnard joining us. Good morning, James. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I want to hear what movies I need to see this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> summer is coming to a close, and so is the blockbuster season. There are a few uh, movies left in the coffers for the studios. The first one being Closed Circuit, which is kind of a a terrorism political thriller. It starts off with, as you see, kind of a truck there explodes in a marketplace and they have to kind of, in England, and they're trying to figure out what happened. Now, for, for me, this movie kind of uh, reminds me of uh, The Ghost Rider, which was one of my favorite movies from a few years back, starring uh -huh. Ewan McGregor. This one aspires to be really, really good, but it just doesn't quite live up to that. But it's still a really enjoyable uh, movie here at the movie theater. So I give this one three out of five stars. It's rated R, about 96 minutes. It's pretty slick, well acted, but you know, it just never quite gets there. But I do, uh, I do think if you're looking for something fun at the box office that's thrilling, uh -huh. that one would be good to go to. All right, perfect. Now what's next? Now the next one, all of those uh, One Directioners, uh -huh. I think they'll really enjoy this next movie. You have kind of the One Direction documentary. And this one oh, is actually, cool. this Huge one was actually directed by the Oscar nominated um, Morgan Spurlock who did Super Size Me. So you definitely have some good behind the scenes uh, uh, direction for this. And it follows Niall, Zane, Liam, Lewis, and Harry and their, their rise to fame. And it kind of does that thing that most movies have done where you, with like Katy Perry or Justin Bieber recently, right. where it's kind of a big music video, but it also kind of tells you a little background into the story and why everyone loves that, One Direction. Yes. Now, do you think this movie is more for young girls, or do you think anyone could enjoy it? Um, I think if you're a big fan of the group, you're going to enjoy this movie. Um, anyone else, that's not really who they're targeting. So yes, teen girls okay. are okay. definitely going to. And this is probably going to be the, the big movie of the weekend. Oh, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. And there's also a Fast and the Furious kind of-esque movie starring Selena Gomez. This one is actually getting probably some of the worst reviews ever. Oh, it's no. sitting right now at 2% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, so, wow. So Poor Selena. So don't go see this movie. It's supposed to be terrible unless you want to waste your money. <laughs> but I would enjoy that great weather. <laughs> okay. And then finally, I have my top three favorite summer movies okay. from this past summer. And number three, Man of Steel. Man of Steel. One of my favorite movies of the summer because it was a relaunch of Superman. Uh -huh. Loved the movie. Number two, Now You See Me. This one was kind of the, it reminded me of uh, Ocean's Eleven, kind of, where it was just kind of a thrilling, magic movie yeah. with uh, Morgan Freeman also in that. And I love Morgan Freeman. You really can't go wrong. <laughs> and that one actually comes out on DVD on Tuesday. So if you're looking for a movie to see, wait till Tuesday, grab that movie. Yeah. You'll enjoy it. Perfect. And then number one, Fruitful Station, which hopefully could do very well at the box office. I talked about it a few weeks ago. You can look up my review. And there you go. That one probably won't be on DVD until later, but it's actually right now still at Levis Commons. So you oh, can check that out. Perfect. So those are my movies. All right. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. Yep. Always nice having you here. All right. Coming up next, nothing says fall quite like a pumpkin. Stay with us.